What is up you guys, Orlando here with Lich Record Studio. I want to show you something that I wish I knew when I first was starting out and it's as simple as importing tracks into your DAW. I know it seems simple, but sometimes you get lost into that process. So I'm going to show you in the video today how to do it properly. And as you can see here, I have Stereo Monoizer. Stereo Monoizer is one of those tools that I absolutely enjoy in the studio and saves me a lot of time. And it's the previous step to importing into your DAW your tracks. So I have here a few tracks. What I need to do is convert this audio because it's obviously in stereo, 44.124. And I need to convert this to mono. Stereo Monoizer takes care of all of that for you. So I'm gonna toss all those files in there. Or you can just simply drag and drop the entire folder. It recognizes that as well. And and what I'm going to do is analyze those files. And of course, it's gonna let me know which files are actual stereo files. In this case, this one right here, because it's a demo, it's the full track with the vocals in it, just for me to hear that chorus. And we want to process this. And as you can see here, it's processing that. This one, which is the actual stereo file, is not gonna have any conversion. And as you can see here, I have the lock of all the files that have been processed already. And what this software can do is actually override those files and create a backup file, uh, as you can see here. And you can select or not this option, it's completely up to you. I like to leave that on in case I need to go back to the original files, right? And as you can see, all those files are in mono now, except this one, which is the actual stereo file. And we're gonna leave actually this one out. I'm gonna mark it down. And now with these files, what we can do is import this into Cubase. Go to Cubase and then go up here to the pool window. This is your friend, guys, when it comes to importing uh, tracks. So in chorus two, here a folder that I already created, and you can create folders within uh, this section right here to organize your tracks. In this case, right click and you can convert files, do a bunch of stuff, create folders, eliminate folders. This is a management system within Cubase. On that chorus too, I'm going to import those new tracks now. And what I'm going to do is just pick the files. And as you can see, I selected this one. I put a mark here um, that that's the serial file. I don't want to import that one. So the rest of them, I'm going to import all of them. I'm going to open here and it's gonna ask me to convert to project settings and copy the project folder if needed. So this is crucial guys, because I know my project is set up to 48K and these uh, files are actually 44.1. If I don't convert them, uh, I'm gonna face a bunch of issues, okay? So I convert those files coming into this. And this is the cool part about the pool. It's gonna actually do that conversion for you. Now they're in 4824. Next is just right click, insert into project, add cursor. The cursor is the line that you see here, this line that moves around. Just put it at the beginning of the project and you select all those tracks like that, right click, insert into project, add cursor and different tracks. And what that's going to do is just going to copy all those tracks that you can then put into a folder. And as you can see, I have my folder here. And now I have all my tracks uh, for chorus two already selected and they're in mono. And that's pretty much it. That's how you import tracks into Cubase the proper way. It always works. It's always going to be super, super efficient. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you headaches. You're going to have mono tracks, which in this case are better because they're going to consume less uh, space and also going to help with processing power in your computer. If you want to get Stereo Monoizer, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video today, please remember to subscribe, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And see you on the next one.